you walked through the mix zone and you asked us if you if you actually finished third. I mean, the elation you had there, how does it compare to the elation right now? Yeah, it's been a wild two years since then. Some some ups and downs, but ultimately to come back here and win and, and go into another world championship, I, I can't be happier. Was there a moment over the last 400 that you knew you had it? I knew I felt really good. You know, and when you're in the last lap and things are just coming naturally, you feel really good. I had a good feeling I'd be top three, certainly. Didn't think I would win until I came out the final turn, and it looked like uh, Galen just didn't have a response for me. So I felt really good at that point. I just wanted to carry it home. Yeah, I'm sure he's not very happy about that. Uh, but I appreciate the, the crowd for still cheering for me, even though I, I beat their, their favorite. You, you sense that they actually were cheering for me? I did, yeah, I, I could feel it. I could feel the energy. Uh, at least that they were very excited to see a good close race, at least. Uh, so that was, that was amazing. What point in the race did you think Galen was vulnerable and he started Paul Jones? He kind of made a push around maybe a K to go. It didn't look like his normal powerful takeoff. Normally he'll drop, you know. 56 or something uh, from 800 to 400 to go, and it just didn't seem like it had that same power. So I felt maybe he still had the 10k in his legs at that point. Really happy with your pace. It didn't even look hard today. Yeah, some days you just really feel amazing, and today was one of those. And it, you know, I'm so happy that it fell on the right day. Uh, I don't always have amazing races, but if I can just have my best race on the right days, that's, that's, I'm fine with that. That'll be a good career for me. How happy were you with I was very happy with it because I didn't want it to be an all-out you know, time trial. That's not that's not my best race. I was hoping for you know a slow first 3K and then start winding it up the last two, come down to a hard last lap. Really, it was the perfect race for me right now. Because I remember back when you did your last NCAA indoors were dejected because you just had nothing more that last lap today that's not the athlete that I saw. Yeah, well, the big thing, uh, my coach Jerry, is always hounding me to stay in the race, never get out of the race. And that particular race you're talking about, I let myself get out of it. So you leave those races extremely disappointed, but if you always give yourself a shot to win, even if you don't win, you'll, you'll feel a lot better about the effort. Right. I, you, got your delay. you said it was the perfect race for you. Were you talking about the, the speed of it? The, the yeah, the pace and the, the gradual build up to a hard finish. That's that's really what I wanted. And then to be able to be in the you know the top five almost the whole time, never lose the race. Uh, yeah, it just played out perfectly for me today. What were your feelings as you crossed the finish line? You knew you'd won. Yeah, it was it was at first relief that I just made the team, and then it dawned on me that I had won and how big of an accomplishment that was. And it's really important for my career, so it turned quickly to just elation, but relief at first. <laughs> what do you think the American men can do in Beijing? Well, we have a really strong team. Um, you know, I, I hope one of us can obviously get a medal. I mean, if, if one of us can get a medal, that's that's really all you can ask for as a country. What's between now and Beijing? Excuse me? What's between now and Beijing? Uh, uh, probably a hard training block. Um, I don't really know, maybe a 1500 before. Uh, yeah, Jerry's not really big into over racing, so we may may not even race until then. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I can't really answer that question. I just don't know yet. I gotta talk to Jerry. So you said you know a faster race isn't your type of race, but do you feel you need to be ready for that at Worlds? I think I, I think I can be competitive in a you know a 13, 15 type race, but at Worlds. That's probably about as fast as it'll go, unless someone wants to make it, you know, a low 13 race. But I don't see that happening. Worlds could be a lot like this, except just a, a much faster close, a, like a scary fast close. So I'll have to be ready for that. Congratulations. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Brian. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, guys.